Hello friends, Jimmy here from Stock Ace. <coughs> can you please confirm you can all hear me and see my screen? It's a webinar uh, arranged by Zoom and there is a chat option. If you see, if you are attending from your mobile and you're attending from your laptop and computer, there is a option in that you can chat with me and uh, you can interact with me. So Charan has confirmed that he has uh, clear the voice is clear and also the screen is visible okay thanks abhishek teja right so let's just start uh, in one minute time many people are still joining so we'll give one one minute more time Okay, let's start. I hope you have, you know, this disclaimer you read. So my name is Jimmy and I'm MBA Finance and I have 10 year plus experience in the stock market trading. So I have been in the stock market from since 2007 and I've been trading and also done a lot of blenders like you have done or many people done following tip provider and this analysis, that analysis. But finally, I last three to, I can say four year, five years, I am practicing my own stock ACE, which is my uh, our own analysis and our own own setup and strategy, and which is very very working fine. You all know that what is our accuracy we deliver on our sample trades, which we are giving and which we are giving for the educational purpose on our Telegram channel. So, uh, so in this connection, me and one more, one more my partner and trainer, Mr. Anish, we decided to give the free education also in in in, in the in the uh, stock is trading community through the webinar every Sunday every Sunday will come with the videos or webinars wh whichever is possible and we'll give analysis on technical analysis and we'll give uh, training on the fundamental analysis right and those video will be uploaded on the Facebook and YouTube as well clear so now before we start today's session <coughs> there's an instruction from my end you have to watch all the videos as, as and when we upload and all, all uh, we watch all the videos in the same sequence because today is the sequence one session one after that there will be one more session and of course those session will be related to uh, level one session and level two session sometimes and if you want to know advanced uh, or yet simple strategy of course you can join our uh, webinar which is paid webinar and is starting in the august month uh, 18th august it is starting it is for two weeks for that also i will discuss at the last of this uh, webinar today and you do your own assignment which we are giving on the each topic we will be giving you assignment on the each topic on the youtube and today also some assignment will be there you have to do your assignment subscribe our youtube channel telegram channel a link will be provided uh, on the last of this video and please press red icon bell icon which is red color bell icon which is on youtube so that you will get notification for every new video upload Practice all the topics which we are teaching on the chart. Make your own note and practice, 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 forget per perfection. Because if you, uh, you know, there's a saying that if you uh, want want to grow a big tree, so you have to you have to first start the seeding, right? Seeding has to be started. So first you do the seed uh, in the in the in the ground, and then only for some days or some years, some months after that only you will get a fruit on the uh, on from the tree so similarly in stock market you have to just start start is the main thing after that gradually you will get the practice 
on the on the different uh, kind of analysis different kind of mindset psychology of the stock market definitely you will be uh, you know getting out of this because the stock market is not for short term it's for everything is long term it's not only for your family it's not only for you it's for your family it's for your children everyone because the, the money which you, you are putting in the stock market it has to be from your heart of your money your hard and money and it has to be put in wise manner so that there will be less risk in the stock market and investment will grow or trading will your, your money should grow or <clears throat> all the best and keep keep growing this is my message and today what and all we are going to cover first we will cover introduction of technical analysis and type of chart candlestick pattern candlestick chart basic level and important of candlestick important candlestick patterns trend for the trend reversal this is a little bit advanced level we'll, we are going to cover today and we'll we'll be talking about the psychology of the buyers and sellers in the each candlestick pattern which is very very important if you understand the psychology what is the uh, behind what is the purpose or what is the basic behind the candlestick you must have heard about the candlestick pattern but you should know in because each candlestick has a each uh, a certain story you should know the story whether buyers are uh, strong or be, uh, sellers are strong what buyers are doing what sellers are doing and what is the what is the candlestick saying so psychology of candlestick we will be talking about in each uh, candlestick pattern we basically will cover the trend reversal candlestick pattern and after the, this i am going to tell you our course program and we'll also offer no brainer offer no brainer strategy no brainer offer basically on the programs so you know our uh, program there there is a fee attached to that and today we are going to uh, offer offer a special offer which is uh, uh, i am going to announce and we'll do after that recap of today what we have done and some recent chart analysis we'll do on the stock which i have taken for you and and well, uh, last but not the least stock selection scanner because there are a lot of candlestick pattern you cannot go each and uh, each chart because there are uh, thousands uh, stocks uh, available in the market and 200 plus stocks in the fndo se segment so you cannot watch all the chart all the time right so you need some scanner you need some technique which gives you the right stock at the right time in a stock market right information is very very important if suppose you would have known that sbi is made some bullish pattern some 10 days back so now you can see that sbi has from 270 level it touched 324 zubilian food has made a bullish pattern on the on the uh, 2nd of august also on the 27th of july we will be tracking that so from 14003 uh, 14030 rupees it has just to 15030 rupees so we have traded this stock we earned this we, we earned a lot of money based on the our candlestick pattern of course there is a uh, setup attached to it which we are teaching in our training program uh, what is the entry level what should be your entry level because candlestick pattern will give you that trend reversal it may reverse now after you get the indication from the candlestick pattern okay now trend may get reverse so now what is the entry what is the stop loss what what is the trailing method what do you, what you should be your exit that uh, you should have some strategy uh, solid strategy right so now let us uh, not waste too much time so introduction of technical analysis and of course after all this uh, all this you know topic today we'll be having q and a session so that uh, anybody can ask me what and all your query regarding to today regarding to today's session or regarding to anything okay so basically technical analysis basically stock market analysis has the two uh, two kind of analysis one is fundamental analysis other one is technical analysis there are some more analysis called sentiment analysis insider trading and all but we are not covering and we don't uh, want to cover now as of now as of uh, this point we'll be covering later on when we come on the youtube regularly right so in the fundamental analysis what we study we study about the annual report profit and loss balance sheet economy industry and uh, what are not government policy related to that industry and crude oil price forex price like for, for usd and inr fluctuation like for example uh, there's this uh, uh, usd is appreciating against the inr right so now it industry is going up if you see that tcs from 1700 level now it is to 2000 level 
so why because and maybe 1500 to 2000 why because ctca's main business is or or 50 40 50 percent business is outside india so they export their services outside so they get the dollar and once they get the dollar and dollar is getting appreciated so definitely indian rupee will be more so their profit will be more so there are a lot of other parameters also like economy industry there there are many many other technique to do fundamental analysis but fundamental analysis is very very difficult and very very time taking uh, you know time taking uh, subject for that you should have all the knowledge like you should have the knowledge of balance sheet you should have the knowledge of cash flow you should have the knowledge of economy you should have the knowledge of industry and how to read the ratios like p ratio and eps ratio all those things you should have the knowledge uh, as compared to fundamental analysis the technical analysis is very very easy very very easy as compared to fundamental analysis because the technical analysis is the effect of fundamental analysis for example some company is doing good so where it will be impacted first it will be impacted first on the price if suppose some company is go doing good like for example hdfc bank is the one of the uh, number one private sector bank in india which is doing good and uh, their profit and loss profit and loss account is showing healthy so so it means the the price is growing up so all the fundamental analysis are the causes and technical analysis which is the analysis of the price volume and trend it is effect okay so in the technical analysis we do the uh, analysis of the effect not the cause okay so that's why i say it's very easy because there are a lot of parameter easy parameter available in the in the stock market trading and also many of the foreign trader they have developed good indicator good technical indicator based on that we can find the entries exit accordingly okay uh, so tools for so so as we go forward further videos uh, we will be releasing on the youtube and also will be coming on the uh, live webinar like today so we'll be talking about the tools of technical analysis and uh, study of chart how to do the chart study okay and uh, i i know many of you are new to the technical analysis or many of no you you would have known what is the technical analysis but we'll start from the basic so that we'll take all the way and also i want to tell you the 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 technical analysis which is available on the youtube it is waste you should you should ignore that if it is not good because they don't give proper you know entry exit and 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 also i i feel that they give only half knowledge uh, and related to or, or maybe wrong knowledge related to can, can uh, related to what you call technical analysis so we will be covering all this point and what and all technical indicator is there uh, like for example we use a technical indicator like moving average and rsi stochastic macd adx bollinger band pivot point and also there is there are some more indicators but these are the main indicator used by any technical analyst or any trader who is doing uh, trading based on the technical analysis right so today we are going to cover the first topic or first or second topic which is study of chart and second topic is candlestick pattern and this third topic we will be covering in the uh, later videos right so uh, first topic was chart type of chart so there are multiple type of chart like line chart bar chart candlestick chart and renko chart akanashi candle chart so mainly people use which chart they use they use uh, bar chart they use candlestick pattern chart renko chart they use and line chart now it's become old because previously when the when the dow has given the theory at the time there was a line chart uh, available and now after that the bar chart has come now this candlestick pattern has come which is more more uh, significant uh, compared to the bar chart and the can uh, and the other line chart right so this candlestick has come from the japanese from japanese they use they they were using from the since uh, many many years to go back and mr steve nissan he has bought, he has went to the he went to the uh, japan and brought from there the Ch Ch chinese candlestick pattern and those on those pattern he has you know developed uh, many other patterns and many other books he has he has written and also he is running a university uh, called St steve nissan university of candlestick so in there there we, he is teaching the candlestick uh, pattern and all
okay so till now it's clear or i'm going fast or slow yeah laptop laptop battery is getting down yeah just i have just connected so till now it's clear or any if i'm going fast please tell me yes venkatesh is confirmed it's clear good very clear uday is also clear basic and also we'll, we we have to cover a lot of advanced uh, things today so that's why i'm going fast so now uh, this is the line chart where what is happening on the x axis let me just do this on the x axis we have to put the time here down and y axis it will be closing price so this line chart will be uh, plotted based on only closing so for example today's closing is 1000 uh, rupees tomorrow is 1000 uh, rupees 1010 so those points will be connected like this point will be connected so based on that chart will be created right so this is called just line chart this is mainly used for the trend analysis and not for the entry exit earlier it was but now it is not uh, you know popular to use entry exit now it it's it's it, it is used for the trend analysis which is which, which will be covering in the next sessions and next video how to analysis the trend based on the line chart based on the higher highs and low, uh, higher lows kind of thing okay and this is the bar chart where where the, you can see that there are two type of bar one is a red bar and green bar red, red green is bullish and red is bearish and the when when you see the red bar the open the, you can you see like this it is like this right so this is the open when you see the red this is the open and this is the close price so close will be outside and open will be inside like this so suppose open is high and close is low open is high higher than the closer then it will be red and similarly when open is here like inside it is open and close here so this will be bullish okay and the the the, the highest part called high point and lowest part called low lowest point that particular day so for example the stock has you know uh, from 100 rupees it opened and gone up to 105 rupees and closed at 98 rupees okay and made low of 97 rupees so what will happen like this it will be a bearish candle because open at uh, 100 rupees so it is a 100 rupees open and close at 98 rupees so this will be 98 this will be 100 and this will be 105 and this will be 97 uh, just excuse me for my writing so this kind of pattern earlier it used to be used but now it's not uh, no more you know in the in the trend but now this is the current pattern which is called a candlestick pattern which we are going to cover in detail uh, let let me cover in detail so so candlestick pattern is very very important to understand what is shows so it shows open price close price high price and low price so there are multiple type of candlestick pattern and with the candlestick pattern you can easily trade if you know the psychology of the candlestick pattern like for example this is green candle and the green candle means open will be lower higher higher the close will be higher than the low uh, open and this is the wick this is called wick or shadow this will be high and this will be low okay so this is called bullish candle which is in green green color similarly if you see in the red color this is a bearish candle where open will be hi uh, higher than the closer and these are the called wick wick or shadow like this is the real body this is the basic of candlestick this is a real body and this is called wick or shadow the upper wick or upper shadow or this is lower wick and lower shadow so based on the candlestick there are some sizes we can you know uh, tell that this is the bullish candle bearish candle large body candle where the ca candle is you know large body candle it is small body candle when the when the movement is not there when the low volatility is there the candle will be small and the, when the volatility is high like stock price is moving up and down that time the body candle will be large similarly there will be two two type more like wide range when the wicks are more like uh, for example open here and uh, open here down and close here but it moved when many many points up and many point down that is time that time it is a wide range narrow range 
and basically it, this is the main canalistic pattern we, we are going to teach in our you know advanced program and today also i'll give some brief which is not part of this program but i'll give you the very brief this is the upper shadow sailing candle sailing candle means why because see if you see that it opened here and gone up okay gone up and close here so in this particular day who were dominating the market seller were dominating the market not the buyer color let it be whatever but it went up but seller pushed this price down and closed down similarly if you see that it is a red color but i will tell that it's a buying candle why because it opened here and seller took it down seller took it down right, right and made low here then suddenly buyer came into the picture they thought this is a good price to buy and then it gone up and close here this was the open let me just clear the down drawing this was the open okay this was the uh, close price but still it is a buying candle because buyers were there at the last clear <clears throat> now type of candlestick pattern so there are some candlestick pattern given by the steve nisson and japanese so those candlestick patterns are very useful for the trend reversal basically basically in the short term trading not in a intraday intraday you have to see lot more things and not only the candlestick pattern and but but for the short term trading if you are a short term trader or swing trader the candlestick pattern definitely you have to see that i am going to prove you how the candlestick pattern helps you to select the right stock and get the good money in just few days okay so you will be thrilled to see the result based on the scanner which i am going to provide you today and based on the analysis i am going to give you today right so i'm sure that that analysis is not available because in in youtube you see that lot of candlestick patterns are there bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing counter attack and piercing dark crowd cover morning star evening star but problem is with those candlestick pattern and those provide they don't teach where to see that candlestick pattern you cannot see all the candlestick pattern all the way because if price is you know continuously moving it will be creating lot of candlestick pattern but you have to see the specific candlestick pattern at the specific point okay that point i am going to teach you and it is very very easy point where you should see the candlestick for the taking entry clear so now first candlestick pattern is called counter attack as the name suggests it counter attack is nothing but attack from the opposite angle opposite side like opponent has the attack for example in the bullish counter attack what will happen market is in going down it's a going down it's a in downtrend right it's in downtrend downtrend in the sense continuously is going down and till this candle the, till this red candle it was on dying downside now what happened next day the the price flow open below it's a gap down right it's opened below but buyers came to the picture they thought it's good price to buy and they attack counter and close near to previous close so this is called bullish counter attack lines so i have mentioned here downtrend and first candle will be red and second candle will be always green it's very 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 good pattern and you will see this pattern many time in the nifty in nifty half an hour chart one hour chart one day chart 15 min chart any chart you open you practice this pattern is very very evident to see that now buyers has come bulls has come so if you see that suddenly nifty or bank nifty is changing their direction so it will not change direction suddenly it will give you the hint it will give you the hint through candlestick pattern only ki now it may reverse okay so now it may reverse means you have either you have to cut the position or try to take new position for example you are in this trend you are you are having the put and suddenly you are seeing this candle okay now you should be alert that now the market is no more bear it may turn because now buyers has come into the picture they made the counter attack to the seller so you should exit or your position or keep some strict stop loss like for example you can keep your strict stop loss here so sometimes or some about about to that so what happens sometime it will turn like this also because candlestick pattern is not the 100% correct pattern it's a limitation limitation also on the candlestick pattern but it will give you the direction it may go up or may go down i am again repeating it may or may not that's all after that we have to apply some more indicator which i am going to cover later 
so or based on those candlestick pattern and plus the uh, indicators you can get the good entries right so the bullish counter attack after that there is a one more uh, similar that we call it uh, bearish counter attack just opposite to the bullish counter when the market was in uptrend always repeat i am repeating that you have to see whether it is uptrend or downtrend you cannot see anywhere this bullish counter attack bullish counter attack always you will see in the uptrend only market should be in uptrend and they on one fine day what happened buyers took it up buyers bought and gap up opening okay and seller came into the picture they thought this is the good price to sell they sold this stock and close near to previous close so there is a counter attack from the seller side right then market will go down we'll see this pattern on the chart also so these are the pattern counter attack pattern very very important and you will see on the index you will see on the uh, any stock so now you you come to know this is the pattern now trend may get reverse and bullish engulfing pattern it's very very important and very very commonly used pattern and we'll tell you i'll tell you later ki how to use this kind of pattern and how when you should not use this kind of pattern okay so that you should know when to use when not to use so uh, this is based on my experience i'm talking about based on my learning which i'm you know learned from my mentors on past 3 to 5 5 actually 4 years in the technical analysis and before that i was doing fundamental and also some other analysis uh, called uh, like uh, long term analysis <clears throat> okay based on the industry and all but now i am fully technical analyst and uh, doing the technical analysis and very happy about it so engulfing pattern is called uh, this is also two type of pattern bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing so bullish engulfing where you will see when the market is in downtrend okay then only trend will get reverse right if it is downtrend and you see first candle is red and second candle is engulfed the first candle that should be always green candle then if suppose this candle also is going up the third candle so now you can it's confirmed that market is now taken a turn clear so this is called bullish engulfing pattern and you must be knowing but you you have to use always in the downtrend not in the not in the sideways trend and not in the up uptrend and not in the continuation of trend only in the downtrend similarly the bearish pattern when you should use you should use on the uptrend when the market is uptrend you can see this first green candle has formed green means bullish candle it should be small candle green means bullish candle it should be small smaller than the next candle and next candle is a red candle which has engulfed which has engulfed the fully this green candle this is called bearish bearish engulfing okay the 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 candle the next candle the second candle has engulfed has engulfed the first candle in hindi we call it nikalna in engulf or ellipsis in english word is ellipsis so it is ellipse the first candle this is called engulfing pattern why it is called so powerful because now seller has come dominating the market till now buyers were dominating but now sellers has dominating the market so that is why now the market may or stock may go down clear <clears throat> one question for bullish or bearish engulfing time interval to check for reversal for bullish and bearish you can see in one day chart you can see in weekly chart or monthly also but don't see in the 15 min chart or in half an hour or one chart if you are seeing that you have to it's it, it's giving the signal good signal but uh, the accuracy will not be that much perfect if you are seeing in one day chart or one one week chart it, accuracy will be good so half an hour and one hour i don't see basically there are some more pattern i am going to cover last which you can see in half an hour also and one hour also clear yeah so next candle stick pattern is called dark cloud cover so name suggested that it's a dark cloud means it's some kind of bearish pattern right so bearish pattern always where you will see 
I'm asking question. Bearish pattern, where you will see? Which trend you have to see the pattern? Please answer. Bearish in downtrend or uptrend? Venkatesh is telling downtrend. Teja is telling downtrend. And uh, increasing, yes, many people are telling uptrend. Yes, always because this, these are the candlestick pattern we are using for the reversal. So you will see on the uptrend, not in downtrend. Okay. And I know that these candlestick patterns are, you know, initially you will be having face facing the difficulty because a lot of candlestick patterns are there, which one to remember. But, but if you, if you know, daily basis, you practice. And if you know the psychology, which I'm going to teach every candlestick pattern, I'm showing the psychology when the market, when the buyers are dominating, when the sellers are dominating. So once you know the psychology, the name doesn't matter. You should know just candlestick, whether it is bearish or bullish. Okay. It's like ABCD of the stock market or technical analysis. And when you started your education in nursery for you, ABCD also was very difficult, but you learned. And now you, then you make uh, the, then you learn how to make the sentence. Similarly, stock, stock in the stock market technique analysis. What is the ABCD? ABCD is the candlestick pattern. Once you know the psychology of the market, then you take, uh, then you do the further analysis on the, in, on the indicator side. Then only you can take a proper entry and exit. Clear. So dark cloud cover is a uh, bearish pattern, which you have to see in uptrend. If you see this, this is the uptrend. What is the dark cloud cover? I'll use a simple uh, here. Just uh, this is a green color candle. Just see that this is a green candle candle, and because it's an uptrend, so definitely green color candle will be there. And it opened above. Okay, open above, but close near to 50% of previous candle. It can be down also, but not below to 50%. It cannot be close here. It should be either 50% of previous candle or below 50% of previous candle. Okay, so you can see this in this in the chart. It should be an uptrend. First candle will be bullish candle. Second will be gap up opening. You can see that open is it, it see it's closed here. This is closed here and opened here. So this is called gap up opening because there is a gap between previous close and today's opening. So this is called gap up opening and always the second candle will be bearish candle definitely because a bearish pattern and the close below 50% of the previous candle below 50% like means down only it can be sometimes near 50 but if it is below 50% it's very very uh, uh, powerful clear so this is called dark cloud cover I'm going to show you in the nifty chart in next slides this is the nifty chart I have taken this is the dark cloud cover okay this is the dark cloud cover like it was in uptrend and it opened gap up and close near to 50% or below 50%. This is called dark cloud cover, but dark cloud cover you have to see always in the uptrend only nowhere else. You cannot see when the downtrend is there like this. This also have made, must have made many dark cloud cover, but don't see in the down downtrend. Okay. There is a, some one more pattern called piercing pattern. It's a bullish pattern. It's a bullish pattern and just opposite to the dark cloud cover just opposite in dark cloud cover you will see an uptrend this you will see in the downtrend similarly first candle will be red candle because this is a downtrend first candle will be red candle and the second candle what will happen it will open gap down gap down means opened here and close either about to 50 percent of previous candle or near to 50 percent of previous candle same pattern just opposite to the dark cloud cover clear so i'll just read for you what and all this uh, pattern shows first you have to see in downtrend and uh, the first candle will be bearish it will be gap down opening it will be bullish candle second candle the fourth number is a bullish candle and fifth point is the close should be near to 50 percent or above 50 percent this pattern you will see many time in nifty many many time in nifty bank nifty I will show you on the chart also and also you have to practice today's assignment is this you have to practice your candlestick pattern on the stock and the chart clear this is the piercing pattern it's clear now it open gap down and close near to 
previous candle about 50 percent or above clear so this is always you see in the downtrend don't see in the uptrend there's a one more pattern uh, which is good pattern called harami pattern harami is a japanese word the meaning of harami is a pregnant woman what is the meaning pregnant woman okay so it will look like a pregnant woman the candle two candle make like a pregnant woman so it's a bullish this also has a two type of candlestick pattern one is bullish and one is bearish so bullish mean always you will see in the downtrend because we are talking about the trend reversal we are not talking about the any kind of candlestick pattern which is in continuation because in continuation candlestick pattern doesn't work this is the limitation of candlestick pattern in the continuation if you see it does not work or it will not work or it will give the wrong signal only so when i learned the candlestick pattern from uh, many of the books many of the uh, and many of the you can say institute they did not teach me when to see the candlestick pattern when to not to see based on my experience only i came to know when to see where to see okay and which candlestick pattern is good which is not good so more you practice more you learn so let me just uh, complete this topic yes so candlestick pattern this is the bullish harami you have to see in downtrend stock should be in downtrend and definitely if it is downtrend the first candle will be red only because it's a bearish candle and the second candle will be very tiny candle and it should be always green and the first candle it should be within the body of the first candle like for example it is making like a pregnant woman shape clear this is the baby this is the woman so that is called pregnant woman shape so why this candle is very very important i am going to teach you the psychology see till now market was in downtrend okay if it, it if it was in downtrend next candle also should be forming like this but now what happened ba sellers got confused they could not con sustain the downtrend and buyers came into the picture they bought and closed this green that is why this is called a bullish harami pattern and a bullish pattern because psychology is changed who has got confused buyers got confused if suppose they were in the same mind to sell the stock the stock would have gone further down but it was not going down because now buyers has taken the charge they took it up okay if you see that it's a gap up opening the stock close here it is a gap up opening and also many people say that wick should cover like for example these are the wicks for this so if you are seeing the candlestick pattern till here that is also okay but if it is within the body that will be more powerful than the <clears throat> then the uh, the wick 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 one which is under wick okay so also you have to see the what, what is the master trend going on which i'm going to teach you last uh, part of this uh, this uh, session so what is the master trend going on the, you always go ba based on the trend only now similarly uh, the bearish harami pattern the bearish harami pattern where you will see definitely in the uptrend because it's a bearish we are talking about the bearish reversal now if it is an uptrend the first candle will be green candle big candle and second candle will be tiny red candle and which which we should be within the body of the first candle only so now in this candlestick pattern who has got confused buyers got confused clear till now market was up buyers also taking this up but they could not take further this seller came to into the picture and they took charge now market may go down or stock may go down from these levels so psychology is clear till now all the candlestick pattern it has attached some psychology if you understand the psychology you can win the win the race in stock market only two two parties there either to be a buyer to be a seller or third neutral so if you know that when when you should be a buyer when you should be a seller and when you do nothing so you will win the race nothing nothing great in this the stock market is also the same whatever you are doing in your in your life for example you may be doing in, you know practice ca chartered accountant engineer or some jobs you are doing some kind of you know work there 
same work if you give the in the stock market in this technical analysis you will get i am telling you good better than whatever you are getting in the job clear <clears throat> now dozy pattern how many of you know that dozy pattern i am going to teach you one psychology today you tell me whether you are aware or not how many of you know what is dozy pattern yes you are aware of the dozy pattern so dozy when you have to see what do you mean by dozy when market is confused yes nilesh is right when market is confused open close are same right i am aware so dozy alone has no meaning dozy alone has no meaning it has to be attached with some other candlestick pattern which is called morning star evening star morning dozy star morning evening star or uh, some kind of cross i will tell you later what is a cross and what is a star so dozy if you see alone it is no meaning the next candle also only will tell whether it is going to down or going to go up clear so this is the dozy pattern where the open price and close price are almost same color does not matter it can be green also it can be red also but open and close price almost same for example stock open at 100 rupees gone up to 102 102 and down may it is gone up to 98 but it close at 99.7 so it is same only almost right so this is called dozy pattern dozy what shows dozy shows a war between the bulls and bears in this particular day neither bulls nor bear were dominating nobody was dominating in this particular day right it gone up then bears came into the picture they shot it down and gone up gone down then buyers came into the picture they managed to close near to the open so nobody was dominating the market in this particular session or in this particular day now dozy also has a two type of dozy one is grave stone dozy and one is the dragon fly dozy okay so grave stone will be that in that down side there is no wick only on the top it will be a wick clear so for example it opened here gone here buyers took it up sellers took it down and close here now you all will be telling me i am asking a question who is dominating the market buyers or sellers in this candlestick pattern who will be dominating the market who that particular day uday is telling both nan venkate is telling both many people are telling seller which is right answer why seller because at last what happened as i told you opening here gone up but seller took the lead and they managed to close near to open so in this particular session seller were leading similarly here buyers are leading open here gone down buyers took charge and they managed to close near to open price this is called dragonfly this is called gravestone but these patterns are not much important alone you have to see along with the some other candlestick pattern which is called dozy star or evening star you must have heard that this candlestick pattern what is the dozy star and what is the evening star and morning star evening star the name suggests that now evening has come uh, you have flight lot you have to come down now right so come down means evening star always you have to see in the up trend you you don't want you don't see in the downtrend you have to see in the uptrend only so it's an uptrend then there is a dozy pattern then third candle also you have to see in this candle till now we were seeing only two candle like counter attack was two candlestick pattern bullish engulfing bearish engulfing was two and two two candlestick pattern and harami pattern was two candlestick pattern but evening star is a three candlestick pattern 
okay you always combine three candle then only the evening star will be formed clear so how how it form uptrend dozy on top gap down opening third then closing below to the previous candle or near to previous candle close sometime middle also but it cannot go go up in this particular day seller was dominating so this is the evening star then after that market did should go down or it may go down this is the evening star similarly there is a morning star you have to see morning star means it's a bullish reversal so you have to see in the downtrend so stock is in downtrend and there is a dozy candle acha i i i just forgot one thing to tell you see why it is gone up because Uh, suddenly uh, in this also there is a psychology attached to this which is steve nisson has you know uh, uh, written in his book <clears throat> so i read this book it's like a bible in the stock market which has 3000 page if you go and read you, you know it will be very big but very good uh, knowledge about the candlestick pattern but you should not there are a lot of candlestick pattern also you can avoid but the main main candlestick pattern you can use so for example this is going down till now seller were okay they were in position they were in dominating position now dozy has formed so who has got confused seller got steve nisson candlestick pattern the book name is candlestick pattern by steve nisson it's a bingo reversal trend trend seller yeah so till now seller were dominating the market and this now seller got confused because there is a war between seller and buyers now seller got confused whether to take it down or up so they could not take took this down they they are not selling more because they got confused whether it will further go down or not now buyers came into the picture now suddenly then next day it gap up opening and one buyer uh, buys buyer candle bullish candle so then it's a reversal so basically there is a confusion between the seller in this particular uh, uh, morning star similarly in the evening star there is a confusion between the buyer clear now uh, one more candlestick pattern is called hammer but you know the now you know the psychology okay psychology means hammer is a, a bullish candlestick pattern and you have to see in the downtrend bullish means you have to see in downtrend now it opened here gone down here but you know all know that buyers took charge now buyers dominating the market not the seller right because this is this week is showing that it gone down but buyers took it up so buyers are dominating and then next candle will go up so in hammers you have to see that wick should be at least two time of the body this shadow at least should be two time of this body then only we'll call it hammer if it is not two time of the body not double it's like sim small then we don't call this a hammer this is not a hammer this is a simple candlestick pattern clear so hammer i'm just repeating again if you have to see in the downtrend and you have to see the candlestick pattern which is sing it's it's a single candlestick pattern which you have to see that it should be double than the body which should be double the body it's very very important uh, candlestick pattern and you see this candlestick pattern in nifty very often <clears throat> okay then this is the pattern hammer shown in the yellow uh, color and similarly there is a inverted hammer it, it is not so uh, powerful than the hammer because hammer is more powerful but this is also a bullish candlestick pattern you have to see in downtrend and is just inverted hammer just opposite to the hammer okay um hammer was like wick was down and body was up it is just opposite and this candlestick pattern in this candle pattern same the 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 re, re, real body and the shadow wick the wick should be double to the real body two time size at least two time it can be more also but the upper shadow is at least two time of the real body this is called inverted hammer now next candle if it is going up and your your whatever it, i don't know what strategy you are using 
whatever studies you are using but suppose any stock has made the hammer pattern and next day you are seeing that it is fitting in your strategy so now you can buy because now you got the confirmation from the candlestick pattern also and from the strategy also if you want to learn good strategy then of course you can join our program where we'll, we'll be teaching the strategy plus we'll be giving you the practice session in the live market okay this is the inverted uh, and candlestick pattern which is in downtrend okay downtrend you have to see and it is gone up now there is one more called shooting star now shooting star now you know the psychology seller were dominating in this candle right because it gone up and gone down so buyers you know buyers uh, did uh, practice or did uh, do uh, they did try especially they did try to take this further up because they they were in uptrend buyers tried to uh, um, uh, this uh, price to go up but it did not grow because seller came into the picture and they took lead and the price went down and close below to the uh, open this is called a shooting star which is very very powerful pattern you will see in nifty you will see in fndo stocks many often fndo stock whenever you see this shooting star it's very very important and 90% time it work it gives only i means 90% accuracy only shooting star based on shooting star okay so the color does not matter in this it can be red or green also but if it is red then more powerful and all always it will be red only because that particular day 80 90% will be red only sometime it may be green or a kind of a small small body body candle but most of most of the time you will see this pattern is the red red pattern only okay now shoot, this is a shooting star shown on the picture now the next candlestick pattern is called hanging man it, it is also good pattern just opposite to the shooting star the, the hanging man pattern is the like you can see that uh, it looks like hanging man but if you don't remember also no problem because this is not uh, used much you can you can remember shooting star and you can remember one more candle i told you hammer those are very, very important hammer and shooting star okay so this candlestick pattern is just opposite to the you can see hammer hammer you see on the top, top bottom it is the same kind of pattern but this hanging man it should be on the top top in the sense on the uptrend clear and all the rules are same only we can body rule is same only based on the uh, previous candle which you have seen now this is the hanging man pattern which is shown here now one more candlestick pattern which is very important tweezer top it this is the pattern i was talking about you can use in any time frame intraday 15 minutes half an hour one hour don't use in five minutes and uh, one hour chart and one day chart any chart you can use this pattern is very very important pattern and works almost 95 percent time 95 percent accuracy gives giving this pattern clear So this is a bearish pattern. Okay. So who were dominating? Tell me now. In this first candle or second candle, who were dominating the market? Yes, seller. It, it is a new concept which you are learning today. Yes or no? yes it is worthwhile to join our webinar today we don't want to disappoint you and you are given your you know time sunday it's very important for you you must be uh, busy with your family and all but it's our duty to educate make awareness about the stock market so that you know retail investor or retail trader should not be trapped in the stock market and also i suggest you please do not uh, uh, follow any tip blindly 
please do not give your money to any of your uh, you know pms services blindly don't give they will screw many student i have taught and now they are happy to you know take trading with me and they are you know literally they have given their money to uh, pms services and lost 4 5 lakh like anything in one month time one mr ankit he has joined our batch batch number 2 or 3 and he has spent you know on learning now and he is very happy and taking trading because see trading if you are coming in the stock market with the mindset that you want to earn earn a reasonable amount not you want to double your money in one month time or two month time if that mindset you are coming the stock market is not for you if you are coming in the stock market to earn the reasonable amount what is the reasonable amount means uh, 10% in a month is a good amount 20% in a month is a good amount so that particular month if you are, if you are, suppose for example you have the 1 lakh capital and you are growing with the 20% or let's say 15% in a month so it will be 1 lakh 15000 and nobody gives 15% in a month no instrument only stock market equity can give it has a potential to give 10 to 20 50% uh, 15% 20% in a month if if you can do intraday also you can do you know swing trading also short term trading also it has a potential if you are on the right side you have to be always on the right side if you are on the wrong side please you exit at your stop loss right uh, shridhar is asking my name my name is jimmy i ex- i already told in the beginning you may be join join late no issue and abhishek is telling tweezer top was not aware of this pattern and i am studying technical analysis candlestick for for few days on my own good so tweezer top tweezer bottom is very important pattern and i will show you uh, in my next videos when i will be uploading on the youtube and on the on the some uh, live session so in that i will show you on the chart on the nifty chart on the stock chart how it performs and what is the accuracy of this candlestick pattern okay <clears throat> on the on the youtube channel you can see mohammad is asking when can i see you so currently i am not projecting myself i am projecting this uh, uh what do you call the ppt okay so this is the tweezer top in tweezer top i'll read for uh, you it is it is a bearish pattern and always second candle will be red candle because it's a bearish candle so what happens what is the psychology on this particular point seller are selling they are not allowing this price to go so that is called uh, tweezer top and there are some more pattern similarly tweezer bottom when you see on the bottom same kind of pattern but always remember that second candle should be green it cannot be red then only it pattern works otherwise it will not work you can note down somewhere second candle should be green in the tweezer bottom and the tweezer top the second candle should be red it can be two or more candle also it cannot be only two it can be more candle also okay and there are some more candle this is called marubozu candle and this is not the reversal pattern is just a candlestick pattern if you see that only buyers are there if you see any stock is hitting upper circuit so means all the buyers will be there so opened here closed here right so this is the marubozu candle so next day chances are there that the next day price may go up okay and and some profit making also may come but you have to see always trend what is trend going on what has the support and resistance for that particular can uh, particular stock so on, only based on marubozu candle don't uh, uh, don't trade you have to see support and resistance along with this and similarly red marubozu candle means only seller it opened here and closed here so there is no wick there is no wick called bald head or shaved head there is no head or there is no bottom so this is called marubozu candle
Mahesh is telling that I am your student uh, in No Brainer Strategy. This seminar is also good and awesome. Uh, good Mahesh, it's a uh, happy to. Uh, if you want, it's a pleasure for me also. So, sir, please speak something in Hindi. Here we are does not understand English well, but I'm using only simple English. Definitely, in some of the session, I will be talking in Hindi, and in between because this session is all, almost completed. Like candlestick pattern is almost almost completed. So, if you would have told me in in the beginning, I would have taken your request. अगर आप पहले बोल देते तो मैं थोड़ा बहुत हिंदी में बता देता था, ठीक है ना? So candlestick pattern. Now, if you have any query on the candlestick pattern, please uh, tell me now only. And after that, I'm going to uh, tell you about the program which is going to start on the 18th. And after that, we will do the uh, chart analysis based on the candlestick pattern. And I will give you the superb scanner, free scanner. Based on that, you can you know start to uh, analyze the candlestick pattern from the tomorrow onwards or today onwards. Yeah, Mohammed is telling, but you are not updating anything in the no brain strategy. It's no brain strategy. It's just a buying and selling strategy based on some parameter. There is no indicator use. So initially I updated and there was no need. If you need, you can contact me because it's not indicator. You cannot you, if you have watched my videos. So there is no indicator. Just open or uh, open price and close price based on that. That strategy is there. So if you ask, if you ask me any help, you please. Uh, if you have any help, please ask me. So Marubozo candle ka indication kya hai? See Marubozo candle ka indication hai ki us din pure buyer the ya us din seller the. So next day chance hai ki market or upper open ho sakta hai. For example, koi selling nahi hui us din na. So next day ninety percent chance hai ki market upper open hoga. ठीक है. लेकिन इसका कोई trend reversal से मतलब नहीं है. You cannot take a trade based on the Marubozo alone. ठीक है इट्स जस्ट अ कैंडलस्टिक पैटर्न व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू टीच बट जो पुराने कैंडलस्टिक पैटर्न थे वो सारे इंपॉर्टेंट है या कुड यू प्लीज रिपीट द सेशन अगेन यस आई विल डू विल बी डूइंग द रीकैप अगेन हे इज द टाइम पीरियड इज वन डे या आई हैव टेकन एवरीथिंग इन वन डे ओके समझ में आ गया you mention accuracy of few candlestick pattern but not for the all candlestick pattern see wherever the accuracy see i'll tell you accuracy means uh, wherever i told it's a good accuracy those are the accurate other than that it's all gives 60 70% accuracy like for example i told tweezer bot tweezer bottom is a good accuracy and hammer is a good accuracy and also this shooting star good accuracy and uh, Counter attack has a less accuracy. Engulfing has a good accuracy. You can note down. And uh, Harami pattern is a 60-70 percent accuracy. But I am suggesting you don't take trade based on only candlestick pattern. Tomorrow you cannot go. You have seen any good pattern on the can on the chart. Tomorrow you should not go with the only candlestick pattern. You should know the technical indicators also, like moving average, RSI, and all. intraday which pattern is good for intraday i told you uh, tweezer top tweezer bottom is good but this will give you only the trend reversal it will not give you the entry entry exit is not giving it cannot give the uh, by the candlestick pattern it can give but the accuracy will be less so you may you may hit your stop loss uh, uh, some time okay ha mai candlestick pattern wapas batata hu baad mein पहले एक बार कैन आई कैन आई टॉक अबाउट द कोर्स इफ यू वांट टू जॉइन आई विल गिव यू द नो ब्रेनर स्पेशल ऑफर आल्सो टुडे एंड यू कैन जस्ट चैट मी ऑन द टेलीग्राम व्हिच इज माय टेलीग्राम आईडी इज आवर टेलीग्राम आईडी इज एट द रेट स्टॉकेज टीम ओके सो वेयर व्हाट एंड ऑल वी आर कवरिंग इन द इन द इन द इन द आवर प्रोग्राम व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इट ha uh, support resistance how to identify we will we'll, we'll be teaching you in the program and also some idea will be giving you in the because support and resistance is very very vast subject and you you have to have some knowledge of the indicators so today it's not indicator when i teach you the indicator on the on the sunday technical class then only you you will later on you will also understand what are the support and resistance okay 
नो प्रॉब्लम पीपल हुए ज्वाइन द लेट दिस वीडियो दे विल बी हैविंग द रिकॉर्डिंग सो रिकॉर्डिंग विल बी देयर फॉर यू विल बी सेंडिंग यू थ्रू प्राइवेट यूट्यूब चैनल सो दैट यू कैन बी यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियोज ऑन योर मोबाइल और लैपटॉप when will be the next webinar how can we rejoin uh, if you want to rejoin if you are already a student you know the process you can just write the rejoin and send to our email id so you can rejoin okay so our next webinar is going to start on the 18th okay 18th of august or, or, or only 6 days from now and duration will be 2 week so it this program will be 2 week program and what are the timings 8 pm to 9 pm weekdays mein on the weekdays like friday uh, monday to friday 8 pm to 9 pm and weekend mein it will be 7 pm to 9 pm so non office hours i'm just you know going fast on this so that we'll be covering the recap on the candlestick pattern and the scanners so people who want to join you can also join so we will we will be giving you our email id also where you have to you know drop a mail ठीक है, so every day assignment will be given. Like today we have taken a candlestick pattern. There also we will take a candlestick pattern on the high, on some higher study, higher study. Like as I told you, Steve Nisson has written a book of three thousand page, which you cannot read, which which I have read and I have attended his webinar also. So I know the knowledge how he is giving. So based on that, some good good pattern or some good concept I am going to. teach which is useful in the indian stock market trading and then after training there will be 2 to 3 week live market practice session we'll be giving you the scanners of the intraday and we'll be giving you the scanners for the positional query classes will be there e after each webinar two week webinar there will be one or two query classes based on the queries and lifetime support will be there suppose this is a main important because nobody give lifetime support in this stock market they give one month two month three month support but we provide life, lifetime support if any change come in the strategy we give free of cost any change any modification comes in the strategy we'll give free of cost no extra charge so one time fees lifetime enjoyment so class mode will be webinar you can attend on the mobile on the laptop the best part is that we'll give we'll be giving the scanners those are free scanners for the stock selection so stock selection is the see what i feel that in the stock market trading stock selection is very very important 90% or let's say 80% is stock selection and 20% in the in the strategy if you want me to compare the strategy versus the stock selection so if you there are three things worse in the market one is stock selection strategy third is mindset so i will give mindset 50% 50% role is played by mindset if you are in proper mindset you believe in a strategy you follow your risk management properly or money management properly so 50% will be covered by mindset 30% will be covered by stock selection and 20% will be covered by strategy okay so we will be teaching you everything is mindset right mindset stock selection and the correct and method accuracy because our method which we are teaching it is almost 90% accurate plus if you are doing with proper stock selection and plus proper uh, uh, mindset you will be winning in this stock market that is for sure okay and also recording will be available all the videos will be recorded and given to you for the lifetime and we are giving a bonus which is a no brainer intraday strategy in that no indicator is used and we have generated 1000 point in the past 2 years 1000 point means if you have you know in the intraday basically 1000 point means it means every day if you are doing with the find rate quantity find in in 2000 it is 5 lakh rupees in 2 years 5 lakh rupees in 2 years and what is the investment this is not the compounding is not a compounding is just a simple if you do compounding it will be more only it's a simple if every day you are doing with the with the 500 point 500 share okay so 500 share for purchasing and selling 500 share like say let's say the normal share price is let's say 700 rupees so you need how much for purchasing uh, in the zero da if you are going so you will be needing around uh, 4000 rupees 4000 rupees for per 
hundred share intraday because they provide the eighteen percent, eighteen time margin or fifteen time margin also. If you want to check the margin, you can go to the uh, their website. So for the buying or selling hundred stock, you need only four thousand rupees in your DMAT account. If suppose you are, you know, putting some twenty five thousand in your DMAT account, the twenty five thousand be becomes five lakh rupees in two years with that strategy. Simple strategy. Almost, of course, there is a risk management. There is a money management in that. Which we are we are we have covered in our no brainer strategy, which I am going to teach you, and it's a recorded video. We'll be giving you recorded video, and of course you can join rejoin the class if suppose any doubt you have, any doubt you have in the in the session. Like for example, uh, the batch seven is coming on the eighteenth, and you are not understanding some of the topic, some of the points. Even though you have watched the videos many times, you can approach to us. Through mail, through mobile or Telegram chat, and uh, you can contact us. And also, you can join the re the next batch. Every month, one batch will be there. The so next batch you can join, which is which will be free of cost for you. There is no charges further. Payment mode we accept online NFT, IMP, all the payment mode we accept. So there is no problem in this. Language will be covered Hindi and English both. We cover in both Hindi and English both, so that the people who know the Hindi they can also understand. Yes, cost of the fees I am going to cover. Is this program by you or Anish? This program is taken by both me and Anish both. And these are the topic uh, it's covered. These are the topics. So when we will be covering the introduction session, basic stock market, basic session, basic Nifty and Bank Nifty. What is the constituent of the Nifty? What are the stocks giving? What is the weightage in the Nifty? What is the bank nifty? Like for example, many of you don't know the main weightage is bank nifty is HDFC Bank. Main weightage given by HDFC Bank. So if you see that yesterday uh, when the SBI result has come, when the SBI result has come, suddenly it went up. One candle make went up and then gone down. Similarly, at the same time, if you see that HDFC went down, HDFC Bank and it it made just opposite candlestick pattern in the 15 min chart sbi went up went down then this uh, hdfc bank went down and went up why because people are you know they are they call, we call it fund uh, the index manager they manage the index only they are making full to retail investor or retail trader they know when to close where to close the bank nifty in this particular uh, week on this particular month they know exact point based on that they manipulate the market how they manipulate the market they know that hdfc bank has a more weightage now that day particular day what happened sbi has got lot of volatility and other psu bank also got the lot of volatility i'm talking about the last friday only two days back if you don't believe you can go to the chart and check what has happened exactly so how they have managed the index how they have managed the bank nifty so what happened in hdfc uh, in the sbi and the psu bank when it was going up so suddenly if suppose psu bank and sbi bank will go up so definitely bank nifty will go up but they did not want bank nifty to go up they market up to the level only so what they have done at the same time in equity they sold the hdfc bank they tried to manage the index they wanted to manage the index so suddenly they, that's why they have taken a just opposite action which has happened in the psu bank when the psu bank start going down and they buy back the hdfc bank so they are just managing the index and we people are full and you know entering in any level people are in whatsapp or telegram or any youtube they are talking nonsense it's no no matter you have to enter proper way you have to understand the psychology of the big player which we are going to teach you in our in our program how to uh, check the psychology of the big player okay then fundamental analysis we are going to cover free fundamental skinner will be there to select the stocks for the long term and short term short term basics of technical analysis candlestick pattern today i have covered all, only 50% of that advance so there are some more uh, some more candlestick patterns are there there are some more you know concepts are there which i am going to cover in the classes 
and there will be unique setup of stock is for the for the short term trading for the intraday trading and we'll be covering the future and option segment basics of future and option segments and we'll be covering nifty future nifty option everything like for example everything apart from that there is nothing if you you take this program you need not to go anywhere i'm, I'm sure you will be self sufficient to do this we will be giving you the advanced screener for the stock selection for intraday beat it will be you know short term trading within a 15 minutes you can select a stock so that you if you are a working profession you can need not to you know go here and there for the stock selection and daily practice will be there query session will be there and we'll be providing with some of the mobile app best free app application and free website there you can do your own analysis and last but not the least which is very very important i told you it's a money management and the risk management part so without that no strategy will work you have to proper stop loss pro proper entry exit kind of thing will be there so people who are asking about the email id it's uh, written on this maybe it's uh, you know very small letters so you can note down it's a stock is one at gmail.com stock is one at gmail.com and call you can call me at 636-1188-673 i'll be available on this number and telegram id our telegram id for the chat it's a at the rate if you search in telegram at the rate is stock is team you will be able to talk to us directly okay <clears throat> shridhar is asking something let me just put some then buy in lakhs lot correct what is this yeah buy in buy in lakhs only they lot of this fidi they manage with the in the uh, lots will you cover option buying and selling strategy yes we will be covering option buying not selling okay so what is the program fees so first program which we, which we call that atp program a trader program it has everything available whatever i told you in the previous slide everything we are covering which is costing which is cost at 25000 rupees but we have the you know offer for this which i'm going to announce uh, after this and there is a one more call this this is the main program and based on your requirement based on the money constraint of the people we have split it into three part three more part like for example people who want only positional they don't want to do intraday they don't want to do fndo anything nothing not future and option they can opt for this ppt program positional trading program in this only this fndo segment is not there and also option segment is not there similarly and also this option segment nothing is there similarly if you want to do only in option trading in bank nifty and nifty so you will be not having the positional uh, videos or positional classes so only option related to bank nifty nifty you will be trading and you will be taking the classes similarly you are if you are interested only in the day trading in all the segment like cash fndo index fndo so then this program is very good for you so based on that the price is also less so super day tra trader program has a 20000 rupees fees and uh, option hero program is only 15000 rupees and positional uh, ppt we call it it's only 15000 rupees so based on that you can select your program based on your requirement you can select the program now now the time uh, to announce the offer for the uh, no brainer strategy no brainer offer for this uh, particular webinar which is going to start on the uh, 15th of oh, sorry 18th of august so this offer which i am going to announce this is available only till 15th of august if you are booking your seat before 15th of august you can be you can avail this and this is only for the first 30 student and after that it will, it will all be available and the flat 10% off will be there on all the webinars so who and all are interested can send me the mail or send me the chat call me at the rate stock is team you can chat it but not only this this is not the no brainer we are giving you a no brainer which you not, need not to think which is it is available on the emi which is, which is no cost emi so 6 month emi like for example you are availing the atp program which is costing 50 25000 but you will be giving only you will be taking this program at only 22500 rupees and also that is in 6 month emi and there is no cost if suppose only thing you have to have your credit card 
you have to make payment through credit card and whatever cost will be there for the emi and all it will be borne by us or our payment gateway clear so you will be not having a burden on you only the the fee you have to pay in the six installment is it now uh, only for 30 students if you want to you know register please you know chat now only at the rate stock team you can send your uh, mobile number you can send your email id so that we will be taking you in the course we already got the registration for the 17 people and we will be taking all, only 40 people or 45 people max to max in this batch we will not be taking so 16 people we already got in and there are some more seat for 30 batch 30 student clear so all these 30 student will get this benefit from this session only so people who are watching this uh, video now and it will be uploaded because many of people not joined we have got around 110 subscription for this today free session but many of people not join uh, so they may be you know seeing the they, they may be seeing the video later they also will get the same offer so what if one do not have credit card so you can you can just call me or i will just help you if you don't have credit card what's your good name please so so we will be helping you how to make the payment in the part if you don't have credit card also but you have to you know you have to first you take your credit card later or not now but you can take your credit card later okay shrikant you can just uh, chat me at the rate stock team so this is the part now these are the contact detail stock is training uh, 636 double one double eight six three uh, six seven three is our number telegram id at the rate stock team and telegram channel is mentioned here youtube channel also is there if you search stock is uh, you will be getting i i request you please you all subscribe our tele, you know youtube channel so that you will be getting our videos on daily basis you just type at the rate stock is in the uh, in the youtube it's stock is the channel will be there and you can subscribe now the time to do the recap so whatever we have learned today we'll be doing the recap for those uh, candlestick pattern so now you will be giving me the answer what candlestick pattern it is and we will be correcting you if it is wrong so just tell me what kind of candlestick pattern is this and what kind of candlestick pattern is this <coughs> no it's not a grave stone because there is a wick at down it's not a hammer it's not a hammer it's not a hammer it's a shooting star yes uday has given correct answer it's a shooting star and the second one second down one see market was in uptrend it made a shooting star and gone down even if you see that it is a counter attack counter attack ke baad bhi market niche aaya hai right so you have to see always in uptrend this is in uptrend shooting star market go down then this down may it's not a morning star it's a engulfing pattern oh sorry harami pattern in this what happened this re red candle has big candle and it's a harami kind of pattern right so it's a bullish harami pattern clear so next will be in the next slide let me just take you <clears throat> which kind of pattern is this which is highlighted it's in downtrend which pattern is this no one yeah bullish engulfing correct so bullish engulfing pattern if suppose this this is the date it's a recent chart only it's not old chart it's second august chart i have seen this on second august after that only you see that on my channel i gave the trade and it went it boomed up based on our setup of course based on our setup we gave it boomed up even this also i've seen that this is the engulfing pattern or oh, harami pattern so it's in downtrend i've seen harami pattern and gone up it's a zubilian food uh, this one uh, what do you call zubilian food it's a fundo stock and the 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 fundo is a 500 uh, what you call lot size is 500 so if you buy at this level what is this level 1425 
you can see my exact level i gave at 1430 or somewhere 11425 so when i gave on this particular point it went down little bit but i know that there is a bullish pattern ever here it did not hit it my stop loss and it gone up so now it is 1521 it's 5000 lot size plus the 100 point it's easily 50000 in how many days it's less than a 10 days and what is the investment you are doing you are doing investment of 1.5 lakh one lot of future how much is required 1.5 lakh to 2 lakh so 1.5 lakh for this and in in 10 days you are getting 50000 which is 30% and what is the stop loss your stop loss what was at this point yani ki your stop loss what as or almost 30 point 30 or 35 point okay so 35 point means 30 into 500 almost uh, uh, 18 20000 risk and profit is 50000 1 is to 2 risk and reward which is very very good and now still it is going up only so there is no reversal sign till now clear now let's see one more example this is the reliance infra chart this is a uh, 6th of august it made a bullish engulfing pattern and after that it go up the market was in downtrend bullish engulfing pattern and it went up okay so these are the recap we have done now uh, what is your <clears throat> main thing to note important facts for swing trade and short term trade only you have to use this pattern of course once you identified that stock as reverse trend as reverse based on the candlestick pattern you can even enter in the 15 min chart or in the intraday also but based on some other indicator not only the only because of candlestick pattern clear now let me just go through your web one website which is giving the free online stock selection scanner based on the important reversal candlestick patterns which is top stock research you can note down this top stock research i am going to that website and i show you how to analyze that top stock research website okay so this is the top stock research website you just go to candles and go to candle summary so once you go to candle summary this kind of summary will come clear now you go to the bullish candle these are the on the left side these are the bullish candlestick pattern in daily chart these are the bearish candlestick pattern in the weekly chart in the daily chart sorry it is a weekly bullish candlestick pattern weekly bearish monthly bullish and week one candlestick pattern weekly one candlestick pattern that is not we are not you know looking into this and monthly bearish is this one day candlestick pattern so now you want to see for example uh, a bullish candlestick pattern you go to the first uh, first line first point okay now you got that bullish engulfing pattern now you click on the more you click on the more so there will be lot of stocks will be coming but you you select good stock only either you can select mid cap stock which are performing good now you can select the blue chip stock which are also good but all share you don't select if you select all share then penny stock will also will come so you select i'll just give you example in the fndo now it is giving now what lot of stocks but i just now explained you the bullish engulfing pattern you have to see in the downtrend only so wherever downtrend it's written downtrend and where it is it is true that only you will see you will not see anything else is clear so bullish engulfing pattern you will see only on the downtrend so don't see when the downtrend is false so you can see cg power is given bullish engulfing on the 9th and this scanner is updated every day at the last 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock after the market close so you can see this so like hcc you can leave this this is stock is small stock now see adani enterprise adani enterprise is also a 
good stock which was in uptrend but for some few time it got a downtrend so that is why it's telling uptrend also true downtrend also true now from 199 level it went up high it went up high it went to 205 also in just one day so it has given good rally similarly hindustan unilever and let's see some more example see rbl bank this ofss so you have to see only in the trend one more reliance infra i have just shown you right one more zubilin food see zubilin food i have taken from here only it's true then it fit my setup and it boom indigo indigo i will show you let me just put the indigo chart here indigo we have given to our student two days back it 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 gave 30 point in in one day one single day 20 to 30 point see here it was a bullish engulfing pattern it's in downtrend you can see the rally if suppose you enter here it's now almost 980 level it's now at 770 almost 90 point in just 3 4 days what else you need only based on the candlestick pattern but you have to see that you have to see proper candlestick pattern at proper levels like proper trend clear so i am just winding up this session and uh, i you can explore this website more there are a lot of other indica uh, other uh, parameters is there like for example i'll go back and i'll show you if you want bearish you can go to bearish tab you can go to candlestick pattern if this is a bullish tab and down is bearish tab and you can see all this pattern like for example the mind tree has given now uh, mind tree has given the bullish harami so now you have to see the trend which trend is going on without trend go on, don't see now now bullish piercing you have to see then this is you can leave it because it's not much important this is the morning star currently there is no morning star pattern so if it is there it will come so this is the good side you can use this side for your candlestick pattern analysis so please uh, watch this video again and please do practice 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 that only will make you perfect and one day you will be a pro trader definitely so this is my uh, well wishes for you thank you guys for joining this session any question the price rejection will be covering later in the in the class classes is a it's a big topic it's not a small topic the price rejection will be covering in the classes yes all we will get the uh, recording it's great heads up to your knowledge and time thank you there your explanation was simple and very powerful thank you i did not get your name user 18 and abhishek is telling when the video will be uploaded uh, by tomorrow evening you will be getting yes top stock research minimum capital required minimum capital required is 25000 rupees if you want to join any trading like for option 25000 rupees and if you want to join future future will be 2 lakh rupees uh, swami thank you uh, welcome swami abhishek welcome sir give webinar on intraday definitely will give webinar on intraday first you understand the tools okay directly i don't jump on the intraday trading first to understand the tools so today you understood that one tool which is called candlestick pattern so now if you every day you have to open this website i open every day at 8 o'clock in my mobile and i see what and all stocks came and then next day i'll go uh, with that with my setup whether it is giving me signals or not no brainer strategy how much the no brainer strategy only for 2000 rupees 500 rupees 2500 rupees for no brainer strategy will definitely uh, join your program arranging money yeah nilesh you are in touch with me i know you are doing great he is training yes thank you i'm just you know uh, winding up this session <clears throat>